people around the world have been celebrating yoga day it's not just this celebration this is just a sample of the way in which this uh, grand event this grand day has been marked and observed around the world uh, but have you ever wondered how this day came about why is it observed on the 21st of june well on the 27th of september in the year 2014 Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the United Nations General Assembly and that is when he pitched the idea of a dedicated yoga day. He said, and I'm quoting, For us in India, respect for nature is an integral part of spiritualism. We treat nature's bounties as sacred. Yoga is an invaluable gift of our ancient tradition. Let us work towards adopting an international yoga day. And Prime Minister Modi specifically suggested 21st of June as it is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and shares a lot of significance in many parts of the world. And just a few months later, some 177 United Nations decided to observe International Yoga Day on the 21st of June. The first one was celebrated in 2015. Its theme was Yoga for Harmony and Peace. It was a rare site in New Delhi's Rajpath, which is now known as Kartavya Pat. And after giving out a brief inaugural speech, Prime Minister Modi descended from a huge stage in front of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. He took off his glasses and shoes and took his place before a sea of school children and others. Maths were neatly arranged in a checkerboard as far as one could see. And the Indian leader performed yoga for 35 minutes. And with him was an army of 35,985 participants from 84 different nationalities, all twisting and bending in unison, performing different asanas. The first yoga day was such a huge success that it ended up setting two Guinness World Records. One for so many people participating yoga at a single venue and the other for most nationalities participating in a yoga event. And in the coming years, the themes kept changing, so did the venues. But one thing that remained constant was the people's excitement and their participation in large numbers. In the year 2016, the theme was Yoga for the Achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. And Prime Minister Modi led a mass yoga demonstration in Chandigarh. More than 30,000 people participated, but the highlight was 150 differently abled people performing yoga. And then in 2017, the theme was Yoga for Health. Over 51,000 yoga enthusiasts participated with the Prime Minister in Lucknow. In the year 2018, it was Yoga for Peace. Again, 50,000 people volunteered in the beautiful city of Dehradun. And then in 2019, the theme was Yoga for Heart. In Ranchi, Prime Minister Modi led a crowd of over 40,000 people. And then came the year of the pandemic, 2020. The theme of Yoga Day evolved accordingly. It was Yoga at Home and Yoga with Family. Millions of people in India and around the world participated digitally. In 2021, the pandemic was still around, but that did not hinder the spirits of the Indians. They still performed yoga at their homes or out in the open, maintaining social distance, marking the theme of yoga for wellness. And then last year, International Yoga Day was celebrated in the South Indian city of Mysuru. 50, 000, beg your pardon, 15,000 people, 15,000 people participated along with Prime Minister Modi and the theme was Yoga for Humanity. The day also saw the colours of Azadi Ka Amrit Bohatsav. Mass yoga demonstrations were organised at 75 iconic locations across the country. This was under the leadership of 75 union ministers. And this year the celebrations reached the United Nations headquarters. This year's theme is Vasudeva Kutumbakam. It is a Sanskrit phrase which translates to the world is one family and that is the message that has gone out through this event as well. It ran true when people from around 180 countries performed yoga with the Indian Prime Minister.